Hello, it's Wednesday today. It's gone 12 already. I've had a funny morning, really. I've been trying to get my vlog up, but I've done something in my software. Don't know what it is, but it's taking longer to upload. I do this sometimes. I'm still getting used to it. Anyway, it'll get there shortly. So I've been doing lots of housework instead because normally I get the vlog up and then do some housework. So I've just done it in the other order. I've been having a little bit of a hoover and I must confess there's been a suitcase there since the last time I stayed at IB's. No, that's not even true. Since the first time I stayed at IB's in the pandemic. I was rationalising it because I thought, well, it'll be easy to just repack because we'll probably go every few weeks really. But then I just told myself, I'm being lazy. Let's tidy it away and hoover. And I have, and I feel much better. And I'm glad I've done it now. Should have done it ages ago. I've also been relabeling the GoPro package and it looks slightly different to the last one. So I'm hoping it'll get there. And if this doesn't export soon, I'm gonna go directly to take that to the UPS drop off first. I have also, it's a bit dark, do apologize. I've also been hoovering the hallway and I've hoovered in the bathroom, but it needs a wipe really and a mop. I uh, haven't done that. I've hoovered the stairs. Hoovered that bit by there, which gets very, very dusty as we come in and out. Um, and I'm, I kind of hoovered in here, but as you can see, it didn't really pick it up properly because the battery was going. So I've got it on charge and I'll have another stint in due course. I've also mostly done the washing up. There's a few bits left to do, so I'll finish those off shortly and then just wipe the surfaces down. I did wipe the surfaces down, but there were stubborn pancake batter splats that I hadn't noticed yesterday and they have stuck like glue. I'm getting a bit frustrated on Izzy's behalf at the moment with the whole online college thing. She's not back. Exam year children in Wales are supposed to be back this week, but because she's in a tertiary college, even though she's studying the same level that she would have done in school at her age, it's a college, so obviously the rules are different. I say obviously. Now it's obvious. This time last week I had no idea if she'd be back in college by now or not, but anyway, she isn't. And quite often she's got no lessons. They don't know. They don't have timetables. They just have to log on in the morning to find out when they're online lessons are for that day so none of them can plan but we can meet up with people now so we have scheduled to meet up with some friends of Izzy's tomorrow because we do know she's got Thursday off but you know every single day they don't know what their schedule's going to be so they can't make arrangements they're just waiting around waiting to be told and Izzy did raise it as class representative and nothing's been done so it's, it's disappointing and I know that if I was in that position I wouldn't feel kind of centered and in control I would feel a little bit more anxious. You know, everybody takes this pandemic differently, don't they? And some people are probably quite anxious all the time, like underlying sort of state of alert, but we probably all are, aren't we? I think just anything you can do to alleviate that is worth doing. And I think giving students a timetable would help. <laughs> Honestly, they know when they're officially relaxing then and when they're officially like in, you know, giving full attention. <sighs> right, I've forgotten what I'm saying now. Anyway, it's Wednesday today. Yesterday, I think she did have some maths, but she had to do a lot of watching a series that they're gonna be studying. She's not enjoying it. I won't go into why, but she's not comfortable watching it. And the day before, she just, all her homework was for that day was just pretty much to watch that all day, unless there's something she didn't tell me about. So today, she has no work and no calls and their like college intranet thing is down. So she can't access any of the PowerPoint stuff. So she can't access any of the work. Cause I said, look, if you've got another day when you're idle again, bear in mind, you're in your exam yet. I know you haven't got the real exams, but you've still got assessments. Get revising. And she says, I don't know what's revised because we're doing reduced topics. I don't know what topics we are getting assessed on and which ones we aren't getting assessed on. They've covered them all and they're all doing class revision, but it's not very many hours a week. You know, they need to be going away and recapping, but she, she's just waiting to find out. But anyway, I've taken matters into my own hands. She does know that she's doing trigonometry. so. I've contacted our maths tutor and asked if she'd like to do an hour on Zoom with Izzy for that because she's just, she's coasting now. There's, <laughs> had all these years of home ed <clears throat> and I was on top of it, you know. I knew if she didn't get something so we would keep working at it until she had got it. But now, I don't know what she's doing but she seems to be spending a lot of time idle and bored because we're in the pandemic, you know. Oh, anyway, I'm going to shut up now and do my washing up. I've finished my washing up now and I've just realised I haven't had my breakfast. Oops, I've got some now then. Here's my breakfast. 
four corn cakes and one rice cake because I ran out of corn cakes with butter and marmite and fruit salad with some yoghurt on. The fruit salad was left over from yesterday actually. Look, this is packaged for Isabel. Isabel has decided to get entrepreneurial and make earrings by ordering parts of earrings and assembling them and then she's going to make an Etsy or something like that. Yeah, Isabel is really frustrated that she is not able to get a job because of the pandemic. You see, she'd been waiting to get to that age where she could be employed and start earning some money. Uh, and obviously, pandemic, I don't want her to go and work in a shop at the moment, being, you know, I just don't. So for right or for wrong, I've said no. So she's decided she's going to set up an Etsy store and make earrings and sell them. She's going to buy the parts, assemble them, and then charge a little bit of extra so that she gets some money back for her labour, time spent, etc. And add on postage and packing and then sell them. That's her plan anyway, so that was some more bits of those, I'm sure. Anyway, my video, I don't know what I've done to it, corrupted it. <laughs> it, uh, it didn't export one file which I could then upload to YouTube, no. It did a load of different ones. It split it into different components, so none of them would <laughs> upload. I don't know, so I'm having another go, but whether it's gonna work this time, I do not know. But I've been doing a bit of online learning, looking at how to export videos and things. So I'm trying some new settings. I'm hoping it'll be an improvement anyway, that I've actually, through troubleshooting, I've found a better way to do it, but we'll see. I'll see what the quality of it's like once it's exported. Because it always looks a bit different on YouTube than it does on my laptop. I have to say, it's lower definition on the playback on YouTube than it is on my editing software. And I'm always a bit disappointed, and the colours look different as well, after I spend ages tweaking them just so. <sighs> anyway, since that is now faffing, I'm gonna go and drop off this parcel. £22 something that was. <sighs> and I hope it gets there and makes it through customs because I ended up back on GoPro support again, didn't I? Oh, oh if they send me another camera and it still does it, I don't know what I'll do. I just suppose I'll just have to put up with it because that'll be the third camera then. We'll see, anyway. Fingers crossed. Yeah, this is taking an age, an age. It doesn't normally do this past one of two, like, I don't know what I've done. I've done something to it. Thing is, I use shortcut keys, like, instead of going over and clicking on the cut icon, I just press a C and I do a V for something else and a B for something else, you know. And unfortunately, sometimes I press the wrong one and don't realize. So I do something, don't realize, and then come to export and there's a problem, so. I might have to re-edit it to take... I've got some bits on the, the play bar here, which I can't show you because it's obscured under this thing, but they've got some little red squares on them that aren't normally there, and I don't know... I don't really know what it means. <laughs> I only mean I've done something, so I might need to take those clips out and put the original ones back in and do those bits again in order to get it up. Anyway, I'll figure it out, but I'm going to go post this parcel now. Oh, I was going to tell you, I just remember why I ran down and got the camera and brought it back up. It's because these Crocs are awesome. They really are. But one thing that's different about them is they're enclosed. Now, IB's going to get some, and he says he's going to get a drill and drill holes in these because what I found is I never, ever get sweaty feet, but literally when I take my sockies off after I've been in these crocs for ages i find literally this is wet to the touch with sweat <laughs> tmi guys tmi but anyway yeah ib's gonna drill holes in his and i should probably do the same but yeah i'll get around to it i might get a stanley knife or something i need to buy one because I've, I've given up trying to find my stanley knife it's been missing for months here we go again but at least it's still not raining it's not as sunny as yesterday but it's quite mild actually which is very pleasant I've had to come to drop that parcel off. So while I'm in the shop, which is the drop-off point, I thought I'd just pick up some items that we've run out of already, which is flour and eggs, because Izzy's getting through it for her baking. And she wanted chocolate for cooking with. She said, just get normal chocolate, because it's actually cheaper. Ah, uh, oh, flour. She wants plain flour. Oh, that's sugar. Last time I came in here, they didn't have free range eggs, but I think I'm just going to get them rather than go in another shop, you know. 
Oh, can't find what I need. There must be a baking section. Surely they have flour. Believe it or not, I've actually got a pen shortage at home. I never thought I'd see the day, but they've all disappeared. I keep having to use ones that don't work. So I've done the full loop the loop because there was a lady wanted to come past and you know, pandemic and all that. Right, let's try again. I spotted some flour. <laughs> Which is here, isn't it? Tiny one, look, 55p. Shall I just get her two? Because she's going through it. One, two. <sighs> she needs well, I'm gonna look at my app which is on this phone this is a problem with using the phone to film so when you need to look at your phone you can't because you're filming with it I'm looking for butter <laughs> I've ticked it off the list in advance thinking I'm just gonna about to grab it and all they've got is lard I am not having biscuits with lard in oh no uh, I could get her some margarine can she cook with that she can bake with that can't she she turned her nose up at the last lot of cooking Marge I bought her, she just didn't eat it and it went in the bin. Oh, I'll leave it then. I've decided to come back through the graveyard to have a look at the daffodils. I'm just standing on a, a very mossy looking tree stump here. We've got the spring equinox about to happen at the end of the week, haven't we? So the northern hemisphere is going to get us some sun. About time. I'm going to go back now and sort this video export out. I think it still hasn't done it. It was, uh, it was doing its shenanigans again. I think I'm going to have to re-edit part of the video, but it shouldn't take me long. I'm back home. This is what I got. Izzy's already rifled through the bag and now gone to wash her hands. Some plain flour, coconut milk, which I'm going to try in coffee. I can't remember if I told you I was getting that. I want to try it in coffee at some point, but I'll use the big carton first. Eggs. They did have free range, as you can see, which is really good. Um, some normal chocolate for Izzy's cooking and pens because I can't believe it. This is the house of stationery. I tell you what, we had hundreds of pens, but we've got to this point where I'm just searching through the whole house looking for a pen and having to use one that's a bit broken and should really be in the bin, you know, <laughs> or running out and constantly having to get the ink flowing again. So anyway, we now have pens. You may be wondering what this is. Well, I was trying to soak these blobs. Aha, they're coming off. It's the batter from yesterday it is. It was rock hard. It needed a chisel to get it off, but I had a cunning plan. because so I thought if I just squirted some water on it, it would just evaporate and go hard again. So hence spreading a wet cloth out over it, like a really sopping wet cloth. Ooh. Anyway, good, that worked. I'm gonna go and see if I can sort this flipping upload out now. Lo and behold, it's still going. That was at least 50 minutes. Right, I have to do something with this. Look, can you see this here? I don't know if you can make that out. You see where it says FX? There, look, that's red underneath, and I don't know why, because I'm just not that clever. I don't know. Right, but it's all one clip. This was originally all one clip, so if I just take that whole lot out, reinsert the original one from over here, and just re edit that one thing, I think it'll work then. It's just one of those times where I just, I don't know why it's not working, so I'm gonna take it out and start again and try not to press random things this time. <laughs> Oh, I'm back home, I've just delivered in. I'm back home. Right, get rid of that. Full start. Oh, you're getting all the behind the scenes stuff now, look. <laughs> I've only just noticed, but this is red again. The others are green. I'm gonna try re-importing the clip. It's finally doing it and it's giving a more sensible time for exporting. By the way, I came back without my parcel, so third time lucky. The lady in the shop said that all the parcels going to Europe had been bouncing back and people were trying two or three times and that every time they were just coming back. But hopefully mine shouldn't because I have paid that extra 22 quid and got the international delivery. So maybe the other people didn't realize they had to do that and that was the reason it was coming back all the time because I did actually ring UPS. Oh my goodness. So while that is exporting, I'm gonna go and hoover my downstairs because I think my hoover will have charged by now. And then when I finish that, I'll come back and carry on with this. Hi B and I are out. We're actually allowed to drive now to come out for exercise. And we've driven to a reservoir. Um, I was just looking at this pile of bottles and we were like, some people have had a very outdoors party and very tidily left all their litter here. Cigarette packets. Oh, there's a water pistol as well. Cigarette lighter. And they were like, why is it in such a tidy pile? But then we figured probably a ranger or somebody's collected it all up but doesn't have a bag and they're going to probably come back with a bag. That's my theory anyway. Good theory. 
thank you. The sun has gone down now, um, but we're going to have a walk anyway. Just remarking about all the bricks here, and that's weird, isn't it? It's that actual brick floor to the stream. What on earth is that about? Weird. I've come to a very cool place. We're surrounded by little streams and things. It's really sort of multi-directional. I just had a phone call from Isabel. She always seems to ring the minute I go out of the house asking about something or another. Oh wow, those old trees over there. I love this kind of landscape. Well now we can drive a couple of miles at the road to have a walk, it makes all the difference. We're sort of on our way back now, but look at these beautiful roots. They're kind of cascading down, aren't they? And I was very fascinated by this brickwork here. And also this metal thing sticking up here. I'd be thinks it's part of an old railway. We're just walking back now and here's that brick lined watercourse. Very strange, isn't it? Little bricks underfoot, look. All scattered around, all chaotic and higgledy piggledy. It's really weird. Hello, it's quite late in the evening now. It's gone nine. We got back from our walk. We did our usual playing tunes in the cellar thing, didn't we, love? Yeah. We did. And that ding was the microwave. I'm cooking dinner. It's almost ready and I'm about to serve up. This is curry. This is for the adults because Izzy can't tolerate chilli or lemon. So there's lots of chilli and lemon in there. And there is also the coconut milk. And oh my word, it like formed a cream on the top. Really, really thick. And literally it went down to about there. Really, it probably needed a good stir or blending or something. But oh, I was eating that cream. It was lush. Really, really delicious. Honestly, every bit as good as thick like all clotted cream but obviously it's vegan and beautifully sweet and coconutty honestly i would prefer that beautiful so there's an idea for making creamy things anyway so yeah curry done rice in the microwave which is just dinged so that's probably ready izzy is gonna have just some frozen well it's cooked now broad beans and sweet corn and just tuna like this Believe it or not, she will actually prefer this. But if you like the video, please give it a like. It really helps the channel to grow. I am so appreciative. If you're new here and you'd like to follow more of our story, do hit that subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.